Hey everyone, so we got our uh, March manga haul video here. Show all the manga I got during March and got quite a bit to go through. So let's get into it. All right. Again, this is uh, manga that you've seen from other videos as well as manga I bought like off camera as well. And let's get into it here. So we got My Dress of Darling Volume 2 here. I believe from my memory we bought this during the video uh, where I was driving from Seattle back to Portland and stuff and I was like just visiting a bunch of Barnes and Noble. And yeah, we got this one here. And then we got also volumes three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the control side, there was actually a really good uh, sale going on. Uh, it was like all Square Enix uh, manga. Like all uh, around 30% off. So I was like, okay, I got to swoop in for the deal. And got all this. And this is my second time buying from Country World. And like, I remember discussing from a previous video. Where I was questioning, hey, do I want to uh, purchase from uh, Country Roll ever again or not? And I was like, you know what? I'll take another stab at it. Because usually uh, my drug drawing comes in all wrapped, you know? So then like, I could trust that it will be in better condition. And stuff because it's all wrapped in the first place. They look so cool. Like, oh my god. Like, I really love the cover design. I just drawing. I think I'm gonna actually buy my just drawing exclusively online, you know, uh, from control just because it's cheaper. And the fact too that like it'll probably be, you know, all in good condition when shipped in because of the fact that, you know, it's wrapped and stuff. And yeah. So along with getting all this my just drawing from control, I also got Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 3. This was a volume that was super difficult for me to find for like the longest time, you know? And it was like the one that I was missing for sure just to complete the whole uh, series pretty much like in collecting. Or at least be caught up in collecting uh, physically. And I was like, you know what? I'll take the one I'll get it. And I could sh and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. And yeah, it came in really good condition. And I really I like Jesus Christ a lot. And right now, uh, as a time of recording, so here, I have all the physical volumes. And I still need to read through uh, volume 22 completely. And yeah, very good purchases here. And I don't know, maybe I'll buy like, maybe just like one or two. Mangas are not wrapped from control, maybe here and there. Just see, like, what's going on, you know? And maybe just to get something that I need out of the way. Yeah, with that being said, let's move forward. Alright, let's go through another big stack here. So... We got IQ, volume six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So, some of these I got from Barnes and Noble, and then uh, three of these I actually got from uh, Mercari. I had a coupon and it was a really good deal. It was like three volumes for 20 bucks. I was like, ah, you know what? I'll take it. There's actually something I want opinions on here. So, on Makari, they didn't show the spine at all. And I was unaware that my spine for volume 8 would be different and stuff. I'm trying to figure out if it even bothers me or not that uh, this is the one that has a different uh, logo. For um, Show and Jump and then like Viz Media, you know? And I'm really trying to decide if it bothers me or not. I don't know. It hasn't really kicked in at all yet, you know? I honestly didn't even notice it until legitimately gathering up all the mangas for this video. 
but let me know what your opinion because I'm debating if I want to um, put this volume in my classroom and then just getting a replacement volume 8. Like, I might buy more used Haikyuu manga and maybe those volumes might have like this logo on it, you know? Okay, so if I have multiple volumes of Haikyuu with this uh, design of the spine, I'll be okay. But if I just have one, I might as well try to keep everything symmetrical, you know? And then go on from there. But yeah. However, if I do replace it, remember, it doesn't go to waste. It goes into my classroom. So, here we also have Spy Family Volume 10. And Volume 11 here. And actually, uh, was it read through 10 already? I have yet to go into 11. However, I really want to read it very soon because uh, reading the end of town is like, oh, I really want to read more of this. And from my understanding, I believe there's actually a movie coming out for Spy Family uh, soon in the U.S. And I'm really excited for that. And I really want to uh, watch it in theaters. What else we got? Do number eight, volumes one and two here. I've been reading Kaiju number eight for a little bit. And I've been enjoying it a lot. And uh, there's actually an anime that I believe just came out as of recording this. And I really uh, want to watch it because I actually enjoyed reading these two. And I'm actually going to uh, read the third volume very soon. Because I actually have that third volume that I bought recently. That's actually for a different video that's coming out uh, soon. Another shopping video. And yeah. It's a really good series so far. I'm really enjoying it a lot, and a lot of people recommend uh, this series. And I can see why now, you know? It's really good. Yeah. I like this a lot. Okay. Moving forward. Another series that people recommend me was Akamoto Days. I got volumes 1, tier 2, and then three yeah i've read one and two i've yet to uh read three i've been enjoying this a lot like after reading the first volume just in more than normal i was like i have to get this because it's so much fun uh reading it and stuff like it's really great i really do recommend it and i really hope this gets an anime adaption because i think it's worthwhile actually when i was at SakuraCon, i saw somebody cosplay as uh, Sakamoto and yeah, it was so awesome to see that hey everybody else is loving this series, you know also Another note here too. I love the art for the covers too. Like it looks so cool I actually bought volume 4 recently and that's also gonna be in, in another shopping video and the cover for that is so awesome like holy Yeah, I need to read number three Probably read that uh, a little bit soon. I have some other stuff on my priority list, uh, like reading that I need to get to first, and then I can get to volume three. It's like multiple days. Moving forward, I bought One Punch Man volume one. Now I really actually love uh, One Punch Man. I remember when it first came out, and it was so hype. Like everybody was pretty much watching it. Even the people who were not uh, much into anime manga were like uh, invested in the series and like trying it out you know and it was a lot of fun you know and yeah and yeah it's just such a like great series I really enjoyed watching it and then I read a good amount of it as well and yeah I just really wanted at least one volume of One Punch Man in my collection I'm not sure if this is I am my priority list in terms of collecting, but I knew I at least wanted uh, volume one. All right, let's move forward. All right, so got Oshinoko volumes one and volume two here. Now I watched Oshinoko with uh, my dear friend Jess, and we both uh, really enjoyed it a lot. I have yet to read more into uh, the manga, 
And let me know if um, right now Oshinoko is at a good spot in the manga, you know, for me to like really catch up or not. If not, then I'll probably like put it more lower in the priority list of reading. But if it is like worth like catching up to, uh, let me know for sure. Yeah, because I really enjoyed uh, watching it, watching it a lot. And yeah, just a really good find. Okay. So here we got Tokyo Avengers. We got volumes 13 through 14, 15 through 16, 17 through 18. Yeah, so I've been really liking collecting uh, these omnibuses a lot. They look super nice on the shelf and everything. And I really need to continue Tokyo uh, Revengers, like past uh, season three. And yeah, like buying all these physicals uh, is really leading me towards like um, reading more of it. And yeah, I really enjoy the series a lot and hope to read more of it soon i'm not sure where it lies in my priority list you know but it, it i feel like it is up there though all right all right so we got one manga and one manhwa here we got akko and bambi and then we also got unholy blood now these two actually got very recently at SakuraCon. Um, when I went there on the first day, I was able to catch the uh, later half of the panel for uh, Yen Press and Ice Press. And then they uh, handed these out for free. And I was like, oh my god, awesome. These are like, this can be fun reads to like uh, check out and stuff. And I actually, am I being completely honest? I have no idea what any of these two are about, you know? But that's kind of like the fun of it, them like, that I want to experience, you know, like kind of just going in like blind and stuff and then see if I really enjoy it or not, you know. And yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, President Ice Press for uh, giving out the free um, volumes here. I can't wait to read these. Now, along with that, we also got Dark Moon, The Blood Altar, Volume 2. I still yet to read volume one. That is like on my priority list for sure, reading volumes one and two. So I'm gonna actually see and hype in at the end of the month. And I want to listen to their set list while reading um, both volumes one and two. So I'm really excited to do that. I'll probably read it sometime this week or so. We got my first ever box set, the Dragon Ball box set. I talked about this in my Kira Toriyama video, rest in peace to the legend. And yeah, I really wanted this to be my first box set. And oh my God, it's so cool. Why don't you like open it like this while still being at yeah, good view? As you can see, I have to do it this way, you know, just because I have my monitor oriented. Let's see, we got all these volumes here and it is so cool. Like, holy, it was such a good find. It takes me back, like, and I got this whole box for a really good deal. $85 on Facebook Marketplace. And, yeah, this is such a good collector's item. I actually plan to buy the Dragon Ball Z box set at some point pretty soon, actually. So, yeah. So, hope to get that soon. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you really enjoyed the video. And please check out my other videos. We got other manga hauls from uh, previous months, as well as some shopping videos. Look out for some new videos. I have two in line that are coming out very soon, not manga related. And then we're probably going to release some travel vlog uh, stuff later on too. So yeah, keep an eye on that. And again, thank you guys so much for the support. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.